Welcome to the Odyssey of the Mammoth. My name is Scott Bennings, and I'll be accompanying you today as we venture back in time, back to the end of the last ice age. The lush vegetation covering these steps marks the beginning both of the Holocene and of the extinction of the Mammoth. Far from its herd, a young calf is spending some time by the river. The adorable creature is clueless of the danger it has walked into as it enjoys its time near the water. But nearby, trouble is approaching. The footage that we are looking at is a simulation of the world of 12,000 years ago. This powerful giant, capable of breaking most things in its way, is the woolly mammoth. Its species has existed for thousands of years, even before that era, but wasn't able to adapt and survive into a modern world. Hence, this isn't footage from a real camera, but a digital one, seemingly attached to this particular female pachyderm. I can only hypothesize that we are about to follow her journey of survival and her inevitable demise to this cruel environment. But for the moment, there is another who is in much greater immediate danger. The young calf is fighting off some courageous hunters who have seen an opportunity to make a name for themselves. But its ingenuity is meaningless in the face of individual strained differences. Nevertheless, the baby mammoth is hurt and needs care. For animals in the wild, only time may heal all wounds. Or this cloudberry bush. Huh. This isn't historically or even scientifically. Regardless of the many wonderful plants and the great verdant scenery now appearing before the eyes of our duo, mammoths could not actually survive off this land. The warmer climates and expanding vegetation were a curse to the mammoth's way of life. It preferred the colder, previous ecosystem known as the Mammoth Step. These creatures might as well be currently staring into the fiery pits of hell itself. They will have to migrate. But, a more pressing matter is at hand. It appears another ambush is about to befall or do. Let us silently observe that the older pachyderm protects her own, if at all. Though I admire their courage, attacking a supervised baby mammoth with nothing but axes was a very optimistic endeavor. I can only assume those mammoths are now silently celebrating their victory. Come on, humans. Don't give it to them so easily. Because it appears it's time for another ambush already. Good luck, humans. Using encirclement tactics is definitely a smarter move. Too bad that stump is ridiculously strong against those. That's cheating. Despite what prowesses they may be showing here, I assure you that mammoths did not cause the extinction of the human race. Do I feel a fraudulent air of superiority emerging from the Mammoth Mother? Does she fancy herself to be superior to humans? I wouldn't voice that opinion out loud, where I'll to be in a 
metaphorical shoe? I wouldn't taunt fate. Because fate appears to have it out for Urkaf, there's more enemies waiting ahead on this trail. Yet, this will also offer a great opportunity for the mother to charge through them. Were she to be smart enough to think of doing that? Regardless of the physically large size of their brain, mammoths were not known to be smarter than humans. Please, do not mistakenly fancy yourself to be intellectuals, you woolly, lowly beasts. Now this is more like it. Spears, javelin, the throwing sticks. Decide to get rid of those pesky mammoths. It's not that I'm rooting against them per se, it's just that those humans have really given it their all to subdue these creatures, and they're being treated like throwaway jokes. Faces cross in a hero's journey. Well, I'm not having it. Someone has to tell those mammoths how things really are. It's a cruel and unfair world, and the story is one that is bound to end up in tragedy. They are slaves to history, and the torrential passage of and they really gotta get out of this place. I mean, it's trying to kill them every few seconds. No, but like, for real, what is this? This is crazy. That's not normal, right? I mean, what's happening? 